Hello and welcome back to downloadable content. Get ready to be excited because I'm going to show you how to easily install the multiplayer mod for Bone Lab. So let's dive right in. The first thing you're going to want to do is actually locate the proper multiplayer mod itself. So this one's actually on the Bone Lab Thunder Store and I will link it in the description. So make sure you go ahead and click on manual download. Now that we have that in the background, it's time to do a couple of things. The first thing I want you to do is just search for Melon Loader Downloader and click on the Melon Loader Wiki right from the Google page. Scroll down just a tiny bit to where you see Automated Installation and click on Melon Loader Dot Installer. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and open the file. And now you're going to have Melon Loader ran right here. So make sure you follow this precisely. Currently, we want the latest version right here. So make sure that's on latest and you'll have a drop down, but just leave that as latest. The next important thing is going to be to make sure you find your Unity game by clicking Select. The trouble here that some people can run into is not knowing where their game is located. So let's try a couple of things. So for me, I have one hard drive. So I'm going to click on Local Disk C, and then I have my Program Files. So I bought the game through Oculus. So I'm going to go to Program Files. I'm going to find Oculus. I'm going to open up Software and then I'm gonna open up the final software folder again. From there, I'll now see the game Stress Level Zero Bone Lab. So I'm gonna double click that. And finally, I want to make sure I select the application, nothing else. So the Bone Lab underscore Oculus application. I click on that one and then I click open. So now this tells Melon Loader that I want it to control Bone Lab itself. So for you guys, you're gonna have install. For me, I have reinstall because it's already rocking and rolling, but just click on install and let it do its thing. Now that we've done that, this is very important. Go ahead and run the game once, and when you get to the title screen, go ahead and quit. You'll now see a big dialog box that popped up that looks pretty scary. That's just Melon Loader doing its thing. Now that you've ran the game for the first time, make sure you go ahead and just close that out. Now let's go ahead and return back to that Bone Lab page I told you about, and we need to make sure that mod is still up. We have it downloaded already, but you'll notice that this mod has some requirements. It has Genome Bone Lib. So let's go ahead and click on that. And you'll notice now that Bone Lib will say it has a requirement. That's just the melon loader, which we've already downloaded. So let's make sure we download Bone Lib by clicking on Manual Download. You're now gonna have two different mod folders in two different sections. I know it can be a little confusing, but just stay with me. I'm gonna go back to File Explorer, click on my local disk, back to Program Files again, Oculus, Software, Software again. Now I'll have my Stress Level Zero folder once more. I'm gonna open that. And now I'm going to see that it created a new mods folder and a plugin folder, as well as user data and so on and so forth. So when I return to the Bone Lib mod that I had downloaded, you're going to notice that I have a mods folder called Bone Lib and a plugins folder called the Bone Lib Updater. Let's first start with this mod folder here. So let's open that one. You'll notice I have nothing in it currently, and that's fine. The first thing I want you to do is go ahead and click on that multiplayer download that we did. I only want the DLL file, nothing else. So click and drag and drop into mods. Now I'm going to click on that bone lib one that I have and there's a couple of things. Once again, starting with the mods folder, I'm going to open that one and take out the bone lib DLL and drop it right here. Before I exit out, I want to return and go to the plugins now. So let me open up the plugins folder on that new mod. I'm going to go backwards to my original bone lab folder itself and i'm now going to open up this plugins folder i'm going to take the bone lib updater and put that in the plugins folder so to recap now when we go back to the mods folder i'll have two things i'll currently have the bone lab multiplayer mockup dll and bone lib dll and if i was to return to my plugins folder i will have just the bone lib updater as the plugin. So you'll see here now that this is technically two separate folder locations. I have the mods that are melon loader based mods on my left. And then the normal mods that you would just click and download from mod.io are going to be on the right. So if I open up just these mods here, you're going to see I have a ton of other normal mods like new weapons, new avatars, and new maps. Everything like that are going to go into your standard mod folder moving forward. Exactly how you've been doing them. You're going to just install mods the normal way. So now that that's out of the way, let's return back and go ahead and launch the game. With the game launched, I could bring up the other windows and I could click on my tabs down here to see that Metal Loader is running in the background. It's going to tell you 
all the things that are successful and possibly things that failed. You don't necessarily need to worry about this one. This is just kind of going on in the background at all times, telling you what's going on with the game. Once you're in the game, you need to press S on your keyboard to start the server. And then in Discord, all you have to do is click on who you want to send it to, press the plus button, and go ahead and invite them to play Bone Lab multiplayer with you. And all they have to do from their Discord is click on join and it will synchronize over. Currently, it definitely feels like a beta for multiplayer, but there are some cool things you can do. You can do Mario Kart with your friends. Try not to go over too many people. Uh, we tried it with two, we tried it with four, and there was definitely some cursed moments. But I hope that this helps you guys install this one. I know this can be a little tough, especially using Melon Loader. I will try my best to help you in the comment section. If not, please join my Discord, and we can help you in there and modding help. But other than that, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Rob from Downloadable Content, and I'll see you in the next video.